Michael from Fairfield, Illinois, hit me and said, with all the weapons around him, could Jackson Dart win the Heisman this year? Not only could he, I think he's the best spring value play. If I go over to FanDuel and I'm looking at the odds, Jackson Dart, I think, is tied for fifth right now. And let's just put it together, okay? Let me walk you through why I've already made a move on this financially. What is your perception of Ole Miss? I like to do this exercise from time to time. Think about Ole Miss last year. What was your perception of them? I think most people's answer to that is Lane Kiffin, high octane, throw the ball all over the place, and it wasn't remotely accurate. Last year, they ran the ball 57% of the time, threw the ball 43% of the time. It was a heavy run-based offense, and that includes the quarterback position, but it was a heavy run-based offense. I don't think that'll be the case this year. They were 83rd in third down conversion percentage last year. Um, Red zone was not not off the charts great. Quinshaw and Judkins transferred. He's gone. And not a soul in Oxford, Mississippi, openly wept for it, which was a signal. But I don't care about what fans thought about it as much as I cared what Jackson Dart thought about it. Because I was paying attention. I don't think I talked about it on the show, but I was paying attention. When Judkins threw up the deuces and headed to Columbus, Ohio, a lot of his teammates didn't seem too upset about it. Some of them seemed relieved, outright celebratory. Jackson Dart was one of them. Now you make of that whatever you want to make of it. That's an extremely talented player, one of the best in America at his position, and was a workhorse for them last year. And yet the locker room kind of smirked and grinned when he left. May come back to bite you, or it may be a sign that addition by subtraction even subtraction that talented was thought to be the play there. My bet is that when you have a running back talent of that caliber walk out, even if his backup is named Ulysses and will be good in his own right this fall, and you have the wide receiver stable that they have, my expectation is Jackson Dart's going to throw the ball a lot more. And yards after catch will be one of the most important stats to follow. If I'm betting on him to win the Heisman, because they probably go pre-spring, seven to eight deep in the receiver room with guys I would trust in the SEC. Uh, Lane Kiffin may disagree with me on that, but you develop them the right way there. They got seven or eight, I think, that they can go count on to play winning football for them, or we'll be able to say that by this fall. Now, uh, will they keep them all? They've been really, really good in NIL, uh, really committed to it, so I don't have any reason to believe they won't. And also... If they start off this fall and they're winning and Jackson Dart has some Heisman hype around his name, dude, the marketing apparatus is going to be in place. The head coach there is a marketing apparatus. It may rub some of you the wrong way, but that doesn't tamp down what I'm saying to be true. So Jackson Dart loses an All-American caliber running back, has racehorse after racehorse at wide receiver, is deeply entrenched as third season now, as quarterback there in the same system, all signs to me point to a really big fall. And uh, if it starts rolling now, if it starts rolling, it's also going to be combined with Ole Miss maybe making a run at the SEC championship game, which will be the, you know, the team high-profile version of what normally is needed to be a contender for the Heisman Trophy. So fifth best odds right now at FanDuel. To win the Heisman, I think, I think, I think those odds will get a little shorter. I think there'll be some money coming on Jackson Dart. So I just tried to beat the rush.